ShipStation tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use ShipStation, your ultimate solution for seamless shipping and order fulfillment. ShipStation is the leading web-based shipping software that helps online retailers streamline their order fulfillment. In this step-by-step -step guide, you will learn how to create a ShipStation account and explore the different tools that it provides. You will also learn how to connect your store to ShipStation. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using ShipStation, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on the Start Shipping Now button, which will direct you to the registration page. On the registration page, you will need to provide some basic information. Enter your first name, last name, and email address. Select your country and input your company name. Once these details are filled in, click on the Continue button to proceed. Next, you'll be prompted to enter your phone number, select the number of shipments you currently handle per month, and create a strong password. After completing this step, click on the Get Started button to finalize the account creation process. Once the account setup is complete, you will be redirected to your account dashboard. From there, you can start managing your shipping needs and explore the features offered by ShipStation. The dashboard serves as the central hub for navigating through the various features and functionalities of ShipStation. It provides users with a convenient and intuitive interface to manage their shipping and fulfillment processes efficiently. The dashboard features a top menu that includes the main tabs of the platform, each catering to a specific function. The Onboard tab provides access to a quick guide. This section offers a quick guide to help you get started with using ShipStation effectively. Here you can access step-by-step -step instructions on tasks such as connecting a store, activating savings, selecting a label layout, and setting up the ship from location. The Onboard tab ensures that new users can quickly familiarize themselves with the platform's key features and get up and running smoothly. Under the Insights tab, you can access valuable information and analytics. This section provides valuable data and analytics to users, helping them gain deeper insights into their business performance. Here you can access various types of insights, including operational metrics, customer engagement metrics, sales trends, customer overviews, and product highlights. Additionally, you can apply date filters to these insights, allowing you to analyze specific timeframes and identify trends or patterns. Furthermore, the Insights tab also serves as a platform for generating reports, enabling you to obtain comprehensive information about your business performance. The Orders tab is equally significant, offering easy access to manage all incoming orders efficiently. Within this tab, you can sort orders based on their status, making it convenient to navigate through various stages of fulfillment processes. The order status categories include awaiting payment, on hold, awaiting shipment, shipped, canceled, and order alerts. This allows you to stay on top of your order fulfillment and handle any issues promptly, ensuring smooth and timely order processing. In the Shipments section, you can view and manage your shipments efficiently. This includes the ability to view various types of shipments, such as those marked as shipped, fulfillments, and returns. The section also provides access to essential shipment-related features like end-of-day processing, carrier pickups, and batch shipments, streamlining the shipping process for businesses. The Products tab is dedicated to managing and viewing product-related information. This includes a comprehensive overview of all stored products. Additionally, you can access preset groups and reporting categories, which help in organizing and analyzing product data effectively. The Inventory Management feature enables you to maintain control over stock levels and ensures seamless order fulfillment. The Customers tab allows you to access important customer information conveniently. Here you can view customer details such as names, emails, phone numbers, locations, city, state, and country, company information, and marketplace affiliations. This comprehensive view of customer data empowers you to provide personalized and targeted customer service, leading to improved customer satisfaction. Under the Scan tab, ShipStation offers a useful tool that utilizes barcode scanning. 
This feature allows you to employ a barcode scanner to verify and print shipments along with other barcode-related actions. By scanning either SKU or UPC barcodes for items as you pack them, you can conveniently generate labels for the respective shipments. Furthermore, you have the ability to scan custom barcodes containing order data, such as order numbers, to view order details, ship orders, or add orders to batches. To use the scan feature in ShipStation, you'll need packing slips with a scan to view barcode or an order number barcode, and you'll need to install ShipStation Connect and sign in. The Rate Browser tab, represented by a calculator symbol, is another valuable feature in ShipStation. With the Rate Browser, you can easily view estimated rates across multiple services and carriers, making it simpler to determine the best service for different shipments. Additionally, you can create labels directly without the need to create an order. Moreover, you have the option to configure checkout rates for your customers, allowing them to select their preferred shipping option during the checkout process on your online stores. In addition to these primary tabs, the dashboard also includes other tabs. The Active Stores tab provides you with a comprehensive view of all the connected stores within ShipStation. The Label Q tab is a crucial element for businesses dealing with high shipping volumes. It displays a queue of pending labels that need to be printed and attached to shipments. The Settings tab gives you access to various configuration options, allowing you to customize your ShipStation account according to your specific business needs. The Help tab serves as a resource center for you, offering support and assistance whenever needed. Lastly, the Account section allows you to manage your ShipStation account details. These additional tabs provide further functionality and options to ensure smooth navigation and management within the ShipStation platform. Now let's see how to connect a store in ShipStation. Connecting your store in ShipStation is a crucial step to import orders from various selling channels, such as marketplaces and shopping carts. ShipStation offers support for over 100 store and marketplace integrations, allowing you to connect to as many stores as needed. Once the stores are connected, you can efficiently manage your orders, shipments, inventory, and reports all within a single unified platform. To start the store connection process in ShipStation, start by navigating to the top right side of the dashboard and click on the gear icon representing settings. This action will take you to the settings page where you'll find a left menu containing various management options. Among these choices, locate and click on Selling Channels. Following that, click on Store Setup to access the page displaying your connected stores, including both active and inactive ones. If you haven't connected to any store yet, this page will be empty. To proceed with connecting a store, click on Connect a Store or Marketplace. A pop-up window will appear presenting a comprehensive list of hundreds of stores that can be integrated with your ShipStation account. From this list, choose the specific platform you wish to connect with and then click on the Connect option associated with that platform. This action will initiate the connection process, enabling you to import orders for your chosen selling channel seamlessly into ShipStation for centralized and streamlined order management. Let's say you want to connect Google Merchant to your ShipStation account. To connect Google Merchant to your ShipStation account, scroll down until you locate Google in the list of available platforms. Click on the Connect option under the Google section. This action will lead you to another window where you can proceed with the integration. To connect your Google Merchant Center to ShipStation, simply provide the Merchant ID in the designated Merchant ID field. After entering the ID, click on Connect to initiate the process. This will open Google's Consent screen, where you will need to sign in using your associated Google account. Grant authorization to ShipStation, allowing it to retrieve your order information from Google Merchant. Alternatively, you can opt for the Sign in with Google option, which will guide you through on-screen prompts to provide the necessary authorization. Once you complete the authorization process, your Google Merchant Store will be successfully connected to your ShipStation account. A confirmation message will appear on screen indicating the successful connection with a message like, Great job, store connected. Now that you have connected your store to ShipStation, you can proceed to add products to your store and start selling. The integration between ShipStation and Google Merchant will streamline your order management and allow you to efficiently manage your e-commerce operations. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using ShipStation. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, please comment below. 
I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.